So I got tired of hearing people talk through their videos about how they don't know um, if they can do freeform because they don't know if they can have well look, looking locks that look good, that look put together, that they can go to work with. So I decided to come and show my freeform locks. Yes, I'm calling them freeform now. I didn't like to label them, but that's as good as a label as any. I don't twist, I don't crochet, whatever it is that you call it, I don't do. And I don't like the look of people's locks who do that. And so for mine, I decided not to do that. And so I'm here to show you a number of different styles and without using clips, anything other than my hair, my free hair, to show you that you can, in less than a few minutes, put a style together that looks good, that looks put together. And it really is about how you limit yourself. And if you are one of those people who lives in a box and who tries to follow the sheep, then of course you're not going to have as many uh, different styles that you can come up with as some of us other people who are not living in that same neighborhood. So with this style, um, all my styles without using clips or anything to help hold the hair in place are, I, I tie my strands together to have that holding effect. I don't like using pins, they hurt my head and my locks are too big to you know, be able to use pins with. And I don't like bands because of the same thing, it just feels after a while like my hair needs to be released. So as you can see, it's just lots of tying. Whatever style it is, it's to do with tying. I could probably come up with different ones um, that require less tying, but I kind of like the tying look. So this first style, you can see I tie, but I don't tie too much. And so, and this is one of the funkier ones. And so you could wear this to your professional place or, you know, not all of us are um, not allowed to be creative in our workplace. And I think that that's really just something that we put in our minds. It's not really true. I think we can do what we want as long as we own it. And no one's going to come to you if, unless you're feeling bad about yourself. And if they do, you know what you know where to tell them to go. So I'm almost done with this first style. This is my funkier looks, and you know, as you saw, it took how long? A couple of minutes. Uh, it really didn't take too long, and it you know very very nice look. I do a lot of um, styles that are off my neck because my hair is getting a bit longer, so it gets caught in my clothes and things like that. So. Uh, yeah, so that was the first one. I guess I should have done a freeze frame so you could see the style. So I, um, I then this other one is one that I do a lot when I'm going to conferences and stuff. I, I, bef you know, before I had locks, I used to do lots of styles with my free hair, uh, where I had it pulled back a lot. I like my. Um, pullback styles. It started a long time ago with trying to emulate Sade and then Sade, you know, that's her, that's her trademark look. And so, uh, yeah, I do lots of those and all you see here, I guess you can't see very well, is I'm just um, kind of braiding it down. Well, not really braiding, it's just like crossover technique. I'm not very good with um, video how-tos and so I just wanted to come and show you a few different styles done in a few different minutes, uh, a couple minutes. And so, yeah, this is one that I wear a lot when I'm going to conferences. It's, um, it's pulled back and I still get to have my locks, you know, showing and um, so it's slightly different and it's very easy to do just, you know, as you saw, I mean, this I think took maybe one minute. So, yeah, it's uh, all of you who think that you can't do much of your hair when quote, the naps start to show or the roots start to show, please stop saying that. It's not true. And you're just limiting yourself and unfortunately you are putting out um, falsities when you talk. And so I just wanted to come and show that it's possible to have gorgeous styles and you don't have to have your scalp showing to do that. 
and um, this is hair that I wash every couple of days I mean two or three days I love water in my hair I love um, I can't wait till it gets warmer here so that I can have my hair wet most of the time and so yeah my hair feels very soft it doesn't do that crispy thing that people who um, manicure their locks do um, it's just very soft it's very cushy like when you squeeze the strands it's um it's it's soft it's like a sponge and it's I, I love feeling my hair as you can see it's just one of my um, favorite things to do even my mother has started to come around um, and really loves my hair and uh, I think that's <laughs> that's a feat in itself so the next style is um, one of the a more I would say that it's just more it's just boring but it's another style that's easy to do that's like a, a conference look if you're trying to um, kind of quiet your hair a bit uh, I don't like to do that so um, it, it's not one of my favorites but it's just definitely one in the arsenal of styles that you can do with your hair um, as you can see my hair does not look out of place it doesn't look crazy I don't I really really can't stand it when people talk about freeform locks as though it's like um, you know something that you lose your your intel intellect when you have freeforms and listen that is so false and so yeah and this one I just roll it and then I get to a point and then I tie it just to hold it in place and I think that this is uh, just the, as I said it's kind of boring so I'm going to speed it up a bit once I'm done with this side um, it really is very simple just roll and then when you get to a point tie this is something that you can do no matter how long your hair is I mean I've been tying my hair since I pretty much started my locks uh, about three years ago and I started my locks with no hair I had cut all my hair off and decided you know as it started growing to braid parts of it and then I just left it and that's how I started my hair so as you can see this is what the look looks like um, just you know very quickly rolling and then tying and then you have this um, anyone with any length of hair can have can make this effect happen I, I have proof I and mean, maybe one of these days I'll do a video with my old pictures to show you how I've been tying my hair ever since when it was very very short it's it's very easy to do and I probably will continue to do this until I cut my hair off like I'm looking forward to one day doing so for this next style I decided that maybe I should show one with uh, at least a band or something holding my hair and so I'm in the kitchen so I was looking through the my uh, cutlery drawers to see if I have an elastic band but I couldn't find one so I decided okay I'm just going to come and show that style without tying it first. It's like a, my version of a, a French um, a chignon. Uh, you know how you put put up your hair at the top of your hair into like a bun type of thing. This is my version of it without um, without anything to help hold it in place other than my own hair tying to itself and um, just to create that effect. So. Um, so what this is what my fourth style I think uh, fifth I don't know I've lost count but as you can see it took very little time I'm um, no I didn't even plan this ahead of time I watched um, that Nappy headed black girls video and I remembered that I had wanted to do a styles video uh, a while ago before I closed my other uh, YouTube account and so here I am just coming up with you know things on the fly and so just imagine what I could do probably if I put some thought into it so yeah this is just tying 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 and the, the secret is to find depending on how um, little you want the ends to show you have to find hairs that are on um, sides of your head that are further apart so you tie one piece of hair to uh, on the left side to another piece of hair as far right as you can depending on the length of your hair of course and so you just keep tying you keep tying and then um, you find that in the end you have a ball of tied up um, locks 
and you can leave it looking funky with ends showing or if you really want it to you know be more um, straight lined you just keep tying and tucking until you have no more ends showing and so I showed you the funky point which is probably where I'd stop if I am not going to work but I just want to have my hair up for some party or something um, and if I'm doing it for work and I don't want my locks to be the the main um, the main actor <laughs> of the day I just keep tying and tucking until you don't see any ends but it's just the, the only difference is that you don't see the the ends of my hair showing but it's still the same style and as you saw I didn't use anything else no pins no ties no anything uh, I just kept tying my own hair and um, to have this to create this effect and this is this is a, a working style um, I have other styles of course that I do that make my hair curly without using I my thing is to not use any other thing other than my hair so I can have my hair become curly without using rods or rolls or anything so anyway I hope you had fun watching take care till next time Oh, I'm really feeling full of myself, huh? <laughs>